Hi, what's up? So I've just recently purchased this VFD. It's the Delta VFD. Um, it's really good quality. Um, I bought it, but it arrived, but it was missing this um, keypad, this digital keypad. Um, so I had to buy this separately. So I bought this. It just pops off like that. Okay. So I bought it, um, and also before I continue, if anyone knows this about what this is supposed to be, this was all on off if you look here. See them three buttons there? Um, they were all on off. I've left it so the first one, there's, a, there's ready, run and fault, ready, run and fault. So I've put the ready on and run on, I've left the fault one on, um, off. So if anyone knows more about that, but it seems to be working now anyway, but they were all on off. So if you've got it on off, I think it might be wise to put it on, except for the fault one, which I left off. But anyway, okay, so that's the VFD. So you just connect it straight back inside. I think you put it this way. Connecting like that and just push it. That's it, job done. Okay. So I bought it so I can, um, Control. So it's a single phase VFD. I bought it to control the speed control of this three phase motor, which I've connected all up. You can see it. Okay. So as soon as I received this digital keypad, let me just switch it on right now. <coughs> always use a power breaker, it's always best to. Um, the thing is, it wasn't working. So, and I used, I did everything I can to make it work. You know, this um, thing here was just not working. It's working now, but it wasn't working before. So, I did everything to make it work, and it just wasn't working. And every time I kept putting the code in, the code which is on here. And by the way, you need to make sure you keep this safe. The Delta par Parameter Manual. This has got everything in it that you need need to know. So I followed the code and everything. Um, I did it, um, the codes were on like unit of control, which is um, zero to zero zero, which is there for the controlling of the, I think it's the fourth one, which is a digital keypad, but anyway. Um, it was set on zero, which is the up and down, which is there, but none of it, none of it was working. So I spent an hour, kept doing it over and over and over again. Eventually, I had to reset it. Now, I didn't know how to reset it. I tried looking everywhere, but I couldn't see it. Eventually, I found it here. So, this is a video just to show you how to reset it. Anyway, um, it says pa per parameter reset. Um, all parameters are reset to factory settings if you follow this parameter. Um, I tried this one, which is the 50 hertz, but it doesn't work. So, I tried it the 60 hertz one, it worked on this. So I made sure I wrote it down for the future so there's no messing around. So 0, 0, 0, 2 and 10. That's to reset this one. But I'll show you right now anyway. Um, so be, um, before I also show you how to reset it, if anyone knows why this fan is constantly staying on, um, just let me know. Because this fan just seems to be staying on all the time. I don't know if it's a fault with it or something or what, but if you know anything, just let me know. So here we go. So I'm going to reset it right now. Okay, what you do, you press mode. Remember it's um, zero, 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 the pa per param parameter reset is zero, zero, the code, zero, two, and 10, because it's the 60 hertz. So let's go to mode, go on to mode until you see FRD, then press enter. Okay, you want zero, zero first. So go to zero, zero, then enter. Then you want zero two. Go up twice to zero two. Enter, and then you got this. Now I was going on to nine, which is the 50 hertz. Wasn't working. So then you go on to 10, then enter. It does that as well. It does error quite a lot. So if that ever happens, you have to reset the thing. You have to restart it. So let me try it again. Okay, so enter on zero two, and I'll go to 10 again. 
Let me try it on nine, see what happens. Okay, it's end on nine. R. Okay, now it's on 50 hertz. But I want it on 60. Okay, so I want to try that again. Mode, mode. Okay, I forgot to enter. Zero, zero, enter. Zero, two, enter. I want 10. Enter. Okay, now it's set on 10. D comes up. As soon as it said D, that's it. It's reset. Okay, now let's see what happens. Let's see. I've already connected the motor. Okay, so let's see what happens. It's not working at all right now because you've got to set this to work. You've got to do the parameter of this to make it work. Okay. Okay, none of them is working. Okay, now in order to turn this, to make this work, to make the, let me just see, to make the motor turn, it's all connected, it's just not working. Okay, this is what I need to do. Okay, the first thing to do is on the, uh, let's just go to this one, you want, okay, here it is, what I showed you earlier. Okay, digital keypad, up, down, keypads, no. I don't want that one because that, I think, controls the up and down there. So I want it this to, I want to use this. So what you do is go to, da, 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 da. you go zero, two, then zero, zero, then you go four for the digital keypad potentiometer. I think the potentiometer is this thing here. But anyway, let's just see what happens. Okay, so stay on F, go to mode. No, sorry, go back to F. <clears throat> Press enter. So you want zero, two. Enter, then zero, zero, which is already on, then enter, then you want one. Well, right now it's set on one, which is not gonna work because it's the digital keypad. Um, okay, so you want four for the digital keypad potentiometer, whatever you have said, potentiometer. So let's try that, four, then enter, end. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Let's get out of there, let's go to F. Okay, now it's working, but it's working perfectly, but the motor ain't turning yet. Okay, so in order to make the motor work, I think you need to press run. Run, but run's not working. So now I need to figure out why run ain't working. So what I do then, I go on to this further. You stay on the same page. There's got to be something here which shows you. Now, let me just see. Okay, I might have to focus on this stop method. So you go to zero, two, zero, two, and then whichever one. So I think it might be set on the wrong one. So let's just see. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Digital keypad, source of information. Okay, let's try this one. 0201 uh, digital keypad. It might be on an external one because I want it for internal. So let's just try this 0201. So anyway, go back to the F. Okay, uh, da, 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 enter 02, then you want enter, then 01, enter uh, 0201. Right now it's on external terminals. Keep keypad, stop press enable. You want digital keypad which is on zero. So let's go on to zero. It was on, it was on one, that's factory reset. To so go to zero and then enter, end. Now let's see if this sucker works. Um, so mode, okay. Now, okay, this works, but let's see if you run, if it works if you press run. Okay, now it's on. So in order to make it work, you press, now that run is working. So let's see if it turns the motor now. If I turn this, yes, it's working now. Okay, so that's at 14.5. It's working perfectly. 
So this video is just to show you the basics of how to set it up after you re re reset it to factory settings. So yeah, there it is. Um, it's just to show you that, yeah, that's how you can start it off. If you've got any problems with it, how to reset it and just do the basics to kick it off. The good thing about this book is I'm really surprised. It's really fun. This is actually really fun. If you've got a lot of time, it tells you everything. And you, if you've got a lot of time to go through it, you can just do it. And it's so easy. It, it seems complicated, but it's so easy. Make sure you hold on to the manual because this manual has got all the answers. And just take your time and relax and do it. And remember, if you've got any issues where you do the code and it doesn't work, it means it needs resetting. Once you've reset it, it's back to your factory settings. You will need to do a couple of bits and bobs like I just showed you just to kick it off. Um, and that's it. So yeah, hope it goes alright for you. But remember, it's, it is fun. It's actually, you enjoy doing it if you've got the time. So I thought it was a bit of a nuisance at the beginning, but I'm really enjoying it. But... Like I said, you need a lot of time and you need patience and you just read through it. You just read through it. Don't ever panic or anything. So it's all there and it will work. It's a really good quality unit. It's nice and heavy in comparison to others. So yeah, I mean, it was worth buying anyway. This, this make particularly was worth buying more than any other make. So yeah, there it is. Um, and also, like I said, if anyone knows why the fan is continuously on, I haven't got a clue. Ever since I bought it and connected it, the fan has just been on all the time for some reason. So um, if anyone knows why, please let me know in the comments. So I'll just do this again to show you. Look at that, beautiful. You can set it to anything, any speed you want. That's the good thing about this VDF, you can do anything you want. So right now, this is a single phase VDF, it's running a three phase motor. So yeah, it's great to have one. Okay, thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe, thanks.